I tell you what, we keep Justin Dunn here any longer. He's going to have to go upstairs to HR and start signing some paperwork. Uh, J.D., how's the day been? It's been great. I love it. Love uh, it. Reliving that moment when you heard your name called, 19th overall pick, that video as a fan is epic. But what about living that moment? Yeah, so that was raw emotion. I had no idea that I was getting picked, anything. Um, so when I heard my name, I, I could have went anywhere. You could have sent me to, <laughs> to uh, Italy to go play, and I yeah. would have went that crazy. But uh, that was pure emotion to be around my friends and my family. We were playing for a Super Regional at the time. So to achieve my dream and then hopefully achieve the dream of getting Boston College back to uh, the College World Series was pretty big. Can you remember every second, or is it a true blackout thing? Um, the, the reaction, blackout, but I remember every second leading up to it. Yeah. Yeah. When it comes to the off season, I know you've been working to get bigger, faster, stronger, heading into yeah. spring training. I want to know how you unplug. How do I unplug? Yeah. Um, so I'm a homebody. Like, Amen, love to be man. around family and friends, play a lot of video games. Um, like? Call of Duty right now. Okay. Crushing Call of Duty. Um, NBA, MLB The Show. I mean, I guess that's not really de-stressing, but, yeah. um, that, and then my little brother's a big hooper. Um, plays basketball here in New York, so he's home now, and I get to watch him play, and they have some pretty cool games coming up, so I spend a lot of time with him. You'll find me on a basketball court a lot. I mean, don't underplay. You say pretty cool games coming up for little brother. That's why you're kind of delaying your start yes. going to Arizona. Why? Uh, so my little brother plays for Long Island Lutheran. Yeah. Um, they're 17th in the country, one of the top programs here in New York, and they are playing LeBron James and Dwayne Wade's son in Sierra Canyon February 8th in Tom's River. Yeah. All right. And then you head out to Peoria the very next morning. Very next morning, I'm out. My gosh, I, I can't wait for that. I'm, I'm wondering, you, you talk about y your family, your roots here on the East Coast. You're 45 minutes from our studios here in Secaucus. You get drafted by the Mets. Mm -hmm. and everyone's thinking, this is a fairy tale. Then you get traded by the Mets. And I know you're happy. Like you said, you would have gone to Italy, and you're, you're loving it in Seattle. But how much fuel did that put in the tank when the Mets traded you? I wouldn't say fuel. I mean, like, I've been saying it since day one. In 2016, out of the draft, I was supposed to go to Seattle. Mm -hmm. um, we, I thought Kyle was going to go higher. Everybody, my agents were telling me Kyle was going to go higher. Um, and, and they had told me before that he was ahead of me on the board and that if he was there, they were going to take him. So as the draft started winding down and I saw he was still there, I, I kind of started to set my sights away from Seattle a little bit. But from day one, I thought that's where I was going to be. So it was just things coming full circle for me. And it wasn't really fuel to the fire. I'm excited to come home and play. It'll make, make things a lot more fun when I play in the Bronx and um, playing at City because we do play there this year. So I'm really looking forward to those games. You got your first taste of the big leagues last year in the show, and we can't wait for 2020 for you. Because of the craziness of this offseason, there hasn't been a ton of ink and a ton of airtime given to the Seattle Mariners. What are people not talking about with regards to Mariner baseball heading into the year? I think we have a really good group of young players coming up. Um, if you look at our, our Arkansas team, a lot of that is guys going to big league camp for the first year. And uh, four of us got up last year towards the end of the year. And, and we have a really fun, exciting group. And we're building a really good culture in our clubhouse. And I'm really excited with where things are going. All right, you're going to talk to Bill Ripken in a second, talk okay. some ball. But before we do that, we want to play a game called One and Done. We're going to see how many no, no questions you can get through. Yeah, it was, it was a low-hanging yeah. fruit, Justin. How many questions can you get through in 60 seconds? Just go rapid fire, first things that come to your mind, all right? Okay. Ready? Set and go. When I say go, first athlete that comes to mind. Kobe Bryant. RIP. Pete Alonzo. If he wasn't a polar bear, he would be a. He's my teddy bear, not a polar bear. Teddy bear? Yeah, he's always been my teddy bear. If you were an animal, what would you be? Panther. Okay. MLB Network analysts that when they're on, you turn the volume up the most. Uh, Russo. Turn the volume up for Russo? Yeah, or down? Love, it. love it. Turn it up. Okay. Pedro Martinez, first thing that comes to mind. Goat. Jared Kelnick hitting a plate with a baseball. Savage. Savage. Pitch that you worked on in the offseason. Change up. How's it coming along? It's getting pretty good. Is it? Yeah. All right. One last one for you. Okay. Favorite pair of Jays. Ooh. Uh, I'm a big 11 guy. Um... See, I knew I had to give Shoot. you more time for this question. <laughs> um, my Brett 11s are my, are my uh, keepsake. Like, I, I don't wear those too much because that was the first pair of shoes that I bought out of the draft. I've worn those since I was a kid. Um, but I would say these are probably my favorite. My off-white ones are, are up there. Awesome. Appreciate Justin it. Dunn, uh, you're done with me. Okay. Now you can head over to the Skybox and talk some ball with Rick. Awesome. Appreciate Thank you. Man. Thank you. Appreciate it.